today we're going to be doing a dino eye tutorial. This is the image that I have for people to select when I'm on the job. Um, typically at a festival I'll charge anywhere from 10 to 12 dollars for it and it's crazy popular. Birthday party festival doesn't matter where this one is the number one request for boys. So we're going to start off with a sponge and using this is a fusion uh, prime lime or lime prime <laughs> it's the lighter green I really like this one from fusion so we're gonna start by creating this shape it's gonna go around the eye so typically it's gonna be sort of a circle so like that C shape any face paint I do is gonna have this particular C shape to it I just think it looks you know, I like the way it looks. Alright, so that's the eye part is the very tip you see there. Yes, now, and then we'll do the bottom jaw. So just come down and taper it smaller at the, uh, the tip of that bottom jaw. It's going to be thicker, of course, towards the back. So here's the, the eye. We're gonna use our black to create it. So this is gonna be like where the eye sits and then his eyebrows above it. Um, so I always start with the eye first because I wanna make sure it's proportioned correctly. So here's the eye. Then I come down a little, two, maybe three times for the snout, the nose. Then I'll come back on a teardrop and just two little lines for the outer shaping of that nose. Now here's where I could see I made a mistake. Here it's very straight, um, more, you know, stronger rectangle shape. That's what you want. Um, so make sure, you know, you do make it more square than it is round. So here I'm gonna come up, and where I place the teeth, I'm not gonna put a black line because I don't want the colors to muddy. There we go. Making it really thin where the teeth are. See how the teeth are here? I'm not gonna put a black line on the eyebrow. I'm gonna stop right there. All right, and on the bottom we do very similar. So let's start with the, the bottom section. Now here you can see I did it very square. Right there, there's one square. Come down, make another one, and come around. The one in the picture looks more curved, more round. I'm going really fast on the job, so. Um, but yeah, try to make sure that you make very square shapes. All right, let's go ahead and make that bottom. And again, where the teeth go, you're not gonna really put a lot of black paint. Make sure it's very thin. Okay, then come all the way down. Make sure you make that triangle shape here and just fill it in to you see this uh, triangle shape. All right, so now we're gonna go to the eye and the stripes, definitely need those. Next up is the eye, so I follow the shape on top. Same thing I did. Come under and just fill all that in. I really love these stripes. I think it's a really good filler. Um, it looks like you've done a lot more work and it's super fast. Don't forget the dots or if you love your reptile stencil, definitely use that as well. If you have the time, go for it. Now we need yellow, just one little dot of yellow. This is party explosion yellow, actually. I really like it. It's very, uh, very rich. 
All right, I'm gonna wipe off the excess and do your highlighting. And if you've seen any of my other videos, I really like doing color highlighting instead of white. I feel like white is a little too, I don't know, I feel like it stands out too much. Um, and this is a little more subtle way of, of adding more character. So here we've got the teeth, follow the eyebrow. Definitely you don't wanna fight the eyebrow. <laughs> so the same way the hair goes, like the direction, use uh, definitely go the same direction of the eyebrow hair. It's gonna cause you a lot less stress. <laughs> All right, bottom teeth. Then we need red for the blood splatter. I forget what red that is. I think it's Superstar Siri. All right, so dots on top, and then the drippy parts are gonna be on the bottom. So dots up here. And then dots down here with some drips. Now, the way that I'm doing it is just how I do it on the job. You're welcome to change it, be creative, add more, take away. It's totally up to you. If the kiddo or the mom says, I don't want them to be scary, I just don't add the blood or the, the red on the eye and the... So for this, I go ahead and do a teardrop shape. One, two. He looks super angry with that red in his eye. And just backwards reverse teardrops. There we go. And it just, it's not perfect, and I think it's okay that it's not perfect. So here you can see it goes around the eye pretty well. We're gonna do one more. And it's a little difficult to do this on paper. This is one of uh, Svetlana Keller's practice boards. I bought the little book, and um, well, not little, but. Uh, so it's paper you're working on, so I should have added more water, but we're going to do what we can here, so. Alright, just sponge on that shape. So much easier on the skin. <laughs> but that's okay, we're going to keep going. Alright, so here we're going to do that line. We're going to start with the eye, always start with the eye. Then I come down, one, two, three, make his snout, the nostril, go around it very thin, that back jaw he's got, come down, come back up, and thin it out right there. Come down, bottom jaw, make sure you get that square in there. Come up and around. There we go. And here, what shape goes here? The triangle. There we go. Make sure you get that shape. It's gonna be, shapes are so much easier to follow. Um, there we go. You'll create his eye. And the stripes. And what comes next? The dots. Or your reptile stencil, whatever you like. I always do them typically in the same spots. Um, yellow for the eye, of course. Wipe it off. And then put a highlight. Here we go. And the highlights, typically I'll put them like above the eye, like the focal points, right? The parts um, you want to stand out. Next part is the teeth. Go the same direction as the eyebrow. Come up. For this part, I typically ask the kiddo to close their eye because I'm going under their eye. Then we need the blood splatter. Dots up here. And then dots and drips down here. Remember what comes next? Wipe off your brush, and we're gonna go for the eye. Add red here, here, and in here. And sometimes if I have extra time where the line is not so long, I'll outline it in red. It looks pretty cool. You could do red, teal, yellow, outline whatever color you like. So there we have it. It's 
Alrighty, guys. And remember, um, you know, your if you do ten of these, your your tenth one is gonna look so much better than the first one. So definitely don't give up. Keep practicing, and for sure you'll get it. It's gonna be it's gonna be great. Thank you guys for watching.